green screen. Now, this is green screen by doing. Now, what this does, it means you can bring the world to life. You can basically send yourself anywhere. And I'm just going to show you an example of what that looks like just now. Simon, we can't see your screen. Oh, sorry, guys. Right, okay. Can you see it there? Perfect. So this is a, what green screen, what you can do with green screen. And all you need to do with green screen is a sheet and an app that costs about £1.99, which is called Doing. It looks like that. If you type in green screen on Apple, this one is. It's a little pink octopus, purple octopus. It's about £1.99. I'm going to try to share my screen in a minute to see if it can get working, but this is what you can do with it. Because one minute you can be stood in the middle of Times Square. The next you could be stood on the top of a mountain. You could be transported to one of your favourite books. I love Sweet Potato. It's a great book. Okay, so because what? So I'm going to try to show you how it works in a second, but I'm going to show you what it looks like in the in the classroom environment. I did a bit of an investigation with Hugo because at the time his book was The Gruffalo. So this is what I did with Hugo, and I hopefully share my screen to show how easy it is to do green screen. This is Hugo. My name is Hugo. My dad is Simon Hunt. My okay, so here he is. This is my classroom. Mouse. Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a girl. So what I did, that's my green screen. So he can see himself uh, on the cover of the Gruffalo. So if you look at the screen here, he can see himself in pose onto the Gruffalo screen. So he's waving at himself. He's doing a silly little <laughs> dance. There he is. And what we did, we watched it on the screen together. So we had a little look at what was going on. And then, like I said, my, Hugo struggles with uh, wanting to write finding a reason to write. So what we did is we printed it off and then using that picture of him on the book. So he, he's now thinking he knows he's, been, he's on the book cover. We glued it down on a big piece of paper and we got some felt tips and I said, let's just write some stuff and draw pictures around you in the book. Go. Say that again. Two tusks. Terrible giant head. Terrible giant head. Look at his funny giant head. <laughs> <laughs> Done the sentence. And look at his face there. That he's been writing, but he just thinks he's been playing with daddy's green screen and has has been imposed on the book. So. To so that's green screen. I'm going to try to share my screen now to show how easy it is. All right. Wish me luck, everyone. Fingers crossed. Let's see if this works. Yes, it's going to work, guys. It's going to work. No one move, because if you bounce my signal off, <laughs> no one move a muscle. <laughs> I once told my mum that if you have a bad Wi-Fi signal, if you get a piece of paper and waft it around you, you get a better signal. And she was doing that for a few weeks afterwards. Um, yeah, she actually did that. Okay, all right. Um, screen two. Right. So you should be able to see my screen there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the app and put myself in a book or something somewhere. So here's a green screen app. So that's a little octopus. That's a little octopus there. I'm going to click the little octopus and I'm going to click plus. The top right corner, you see that plus sign there. So I'm going to click plus and I'm going to create a new project. So you've got um, a blank space at the moment with three lines going down there. So you've got the, the ones you need to use are the middle line and the bottom line. So the bottom line is the bit that's going to go on the green screen. The middle line is your video. So I'm going to go on the middle line, which you can just see it grayed out slightly. I'm going to click plus. And I've just recorded something previous on my screen there. So 
that's actually a green screen. Can you see that? It's a little green screen, but the app knows it, it blacks out the green screen. So I'm going to click done. So that's actually green there. I look a bit confused there, but <laughs> well, that's my green screen app. So the moment I've got that there. So what I want to do now is I want to add something underneath. So I'm going to think uh, a book cover. But what I'll do before then is I'm just going to make myself a little bit smaller. And my green screen isn't that big. So you can see I've got my door and my window at the side. So we need to get rid of that. And the way we get rid of that is there's a little face at the bottom right next to the colored wheel. If we click that, if I click the rubber tool there, I can rub off. You can see there where it's going, like the square. So I'm getting rid. I'm just using my finger to rub that off now because we don't need that. So I'm just going to rub that off. So that's basically telling the iPad, well, let's get rid of that part of the video. So there we go. So that's gone now. Now there's still a bit of the window left, so I'll go back there. I missed a bit off there. So just there. Done. So now I'm looking very confused on the black screen. Now if I click my on that line where it's gone yellow, I can move myself a bit smaller. So I'm going to pop myself there. So I'm now further down. Now at the moment it's just black, so I need something to go behind my, me there. So has anyone got a book that they love in reception or one of their one of their books that they enjoy? Give us a give us a if you can. Oh, you're all on mute. So Anna, you've got what what book do you like? What's one of your uh, EYFS type of books that you love? Oh, I've got I've got hundreds. Um, oh, th this is a really good one, guys, and you can get it on YouTube as well. Uh, the story of the little mole that knew that it was none of his business. Right. Um, and if you do that, Simon, I can, if you find the, the page of it, I will just give a, a bit of a, a thing to it. So the, the story, story, the of... story of the little mole who knew that it was none of his business. So basically, he wakes up one day to find that so, somebody has done the business on his head, right. and he he goes on an angry quest along the farm <laughs> uh, to find out who did the business on his head. Uh, right. Each of them proudly demonstrates their business. It's great. It's the best right. story ever. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, brilliant, one, Anna. So I found the picture that I want. So I'm going to hold it and I'm going to add the, that picture to the photos. So if I go to my photos there, that lovely picture of the pig is right there. And so I'm going to go back to my app now. So I'd usually take get this ready beforehand. So on the bottom line, there's a plus sign. So if I click plus there and go to photos, I can then go to my recent camera and you can see the little pig picture there and pop in there. So I'm, gosh, I'm in the uh, danger zone there, aren't I? Um, so I can put that there. So I can put myself, I can move the picture around. If I click on me, I can, there you go. I can move myself as I'm going to get pooed on. Thanks, Anna. Great book that. And if I click play, I'm kind of looking around. I said, what's going to happen? It's like a no. So once you've done that, you click save, and then it re saves it as a little video. Now the great thing is, is in school, we uh, sometimes we can do it like I did with Hugo then, or you can do that thing where, do you know you sort of lie to your kids sometimes? And say, I've just been to such a place. You can go anywhere in the world now, because you just jump on the app and they believe it as well. So that you can go, I've just been to the, I've just been to the pyramids this weekend, guy. You, guys, if you just put a picture of the pyramids behind, if you're looking around, you maybe pop a nice hat on, have a look around. You, the kids think you've been, uh, you've been to the pyramids. And it just works wonderfully, wonderfully well. So, um, I'm going to show a few other examples because uh, when I've shown green screen before, um, EYFS teachers and key stage one don't get enough credit. I've seen people think, oh, it, you can't do that in reception. Yes, you can. Because um, yes, I'm glad everyone's nodding there because a lot of, this is the biggest thing. I was kind of going off on tangent here. So if whatever, if I had an app like this with some year six teachers, I was year six as well. So I'm not bashing year six teachers. If I put an app like this um, in a year six teacher staff meeting, what would happen is I'd walk in and the teachers would wait for me to tell them how to use the app because that's what's, that's just the way it's been in year six. And that's kind of what we're like in year six. If I do the same in reception, if I left an app, so I'm just going to look at this app, I left it with a bunch of reception teachers. If I pop out, if I come back five minutes later, they're all messing around with it and playing and having a go because that's what reception kids do. And we kind of lose that between reception and year six, that learning through play that sort of disappears. And it really irritates me because it's the best way to learn. And it's the same with a group of kids. If you give a kid an iPad, they won't wait for you to tell them how to use the app. They'll go, oh, what's that? Boom, they'll be there straight away and they'll be playing and having a go. And that's, how, that's what we should do.